Hey guys, welcome back to another video. I'm here in my vehicle cargo warehouse. Now, about a week ago it might have been, I uploaded a video on a number of things I want to see Rockstar give some more love to, you know, overhaul a bit, do a bit of do a bit of work to, give us more improvements in that particular game mode or whatever. Uh, it was a top five list, and at number two I had the vehicle cargo warehouse. Now, just recently, uh, like only in the last half an hour or so, I saw a video by Gilly Master, and if he doesn't mind, I'm going to pop a link below to that particular video, where he went even more in depth about an overhaul of the vehicle cargo warehouse than what I did. In my video, because, it, because I had other things I was listing as well, uh, I was very brief about what I wanted with the vehicle cargo warehouse, which was just a few more cars added. Now, he goes into real depth about what he wants done with the Vehicle Cargo Warehouse, and I've got to say, it is an absolutely brilliant video, and I really love his ideas he came up with. So, like I said, I'm going to put the link below if he if he doesn't have an issue with that, and you go, go check out that video if you haven't seen it yet. He talks about stuff like adding extra vehicles like what I said, uh, but he also goes on to say stuff like um, utilising the, the lower end vehicles that we don't sell at the moment. Because if you're doing the vehicle cargo warehouse, what the moment, at the moment what you'd be doing is you're, you're going to get yourself 10 uh, mid-range cars and 10 standard range cars. That way you're only ever going to get top range cars after that. And you can sell a top range car, source a top range car, sell a top range car, source a top range car. Meanwhile, the other 20 cars from the standard and mid-range you've got in there... They're just sitting there doing nothing, and they're never, ever going to get used. Now, what he suggested was having the uh, hauler, I think it was called. Um, if you remember from story mode, when you deliver Devon Weston's vehicles with Trevor, Franklin, and Lamar, you're using the um, the, the big trailer, the hauler, that, that, that carries the cars on the back. You can have up to six cars on the back. So what Gilly Master said in his video was, how about we, we make it so we can deliver six vehicles at a time? But... We also make it so you can't just do six top range vehicles. You can only do a maximum of two top range vehicles at a time. He also suggested things like collections. For example, we know that there are a number of uh, vehicles related to TV shows or movies in the in the game. Like we've got two two cars directly taken off Batmobiles, different versions of the Batmobiles. We know we've got the DeLorean from um, Back to the Future. We've got Wayne's World's car. Uh, we've got Mr. Bean's Minis in there. Um, you can do the Scooby-Doo van, the A-Team van, uh, the the RV from Breaking Bad. Like, there are a lot of cars from movies in this game. And he, he said things like have collections, like like have a movies collection one, for example, and you sell that for a much higher price. So, like I said, go check out his video. I really enjoyed watching. I think, it was, I think his ideas are brilliant, and I'd love to see Rockstar put this in. Uh, like I said, he went into far more detail than what, what I did with mine. Mine was just a basic, simple one, just add extra cars for more money. But I like I like Gilly's idea so much better, like throwing in the collections, um, using the, the bloody car carrier, the haul or whatever it's called. Like I said, you can deliver more vehicles as a solo player, like more vehicles in one cell mission, and get a, obviously get a much higher, higher um, payout for doing that. Uh, anyway, like I said, go check out his video. I thought it was really great. And I'm going to leave a link below also to my speed cubing channel. And if you're interested in learning how to solve a Rubik's Cube, go check that one out. I'm also going to leave a link to the video I mentioned earlier that I made last week, that my top five things that Rockstar need to give more love to. So go check that out as well if you haven't seen that already. And that's going to do it for this video, guys. And feel free to subscribe to my channel. Hit, hit the like button for this video. And I'll see you in the next video. Happy gaming. Cheers.